Alright guys, well welcome back to Total Modded Island. My name is Leaf, and you know what? If you're new here, welcome. We like to do some fun stuff around here, so I hope you guys stick around to the end of the video. But yeah, so it's been quite some time since we've really stopped in Total Modded Island. We've been a little bit busy with modding. As you guys can tell, I've kind of updated pretty much every single mod out there currently. And yeah, I just really haven't had enough time to kind of like step back, maybe even play the game a little bit. Um, and yeah, that kind of explains like the recent lack of videos right now. But you know what? I woke up today. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I want to get another episode of Toll Modded Island out, maybe even pop a balloon. There he goes. There he goes. All right. And yeah, I just want to do a little bit something. So the last episode, I'm not sure if you guys remember. I sure as heck don't. But we added the Gower Habitat, and these guys were just released by the time that um that episode came out. And yeah, there's been quite a number of new species, as you guys can probably tell from like the mod showcases and stuff like that. So we have a lot of awesome stuff in the game now, and we're just going to go through and decide what to make. So right now, I unfortunately, I do not have two mods installed. Those being the, if I can remember them correctly, those are the Moose and the Red Forest Duiker. Those both break research, and since this game is kind of based off of research, I decided we're going to do away with them just for a little bit, and we're just going to find something to make a habitat for. So I figured, why not? We're going to have a little bit of fun today, and we're going to make a little bit of a cute habitat. I'm not really sure what. There really isn't anything that kind of strikes my fancy right now. So we're just going to let the game run a little bit, and we're going to figure out what to do. So in the meantime, we do have a few things that we probably should keep up on so there are a few things over here that we could do we could add a little bit more seating over here for example um over here i kind of extended this little petting zoo area out towards the back i figure once we start to get like another i don't know petting zoo animal we can kind of fit it right in here i do apologize if there are a little bit of lag spikes uh the game has been kind of unoptimized for me recently and i have no clue as to why but besides that we can check out all the lovely stuff that we have here's a little baby alpine goat he is absolutely adorable i'm just dying at how cute he is did you guys hear his little bleat oh my god but yeah within the recent update i believe it's 1.6.4 they changed it so that guests can now actually look through the mesh pieces so now they have full visibility through these things over here i'm not sure if they actually prefer that over you know going inside the exhibit at least but we'll figure that out soon enough um anything else that's really been changed not really sure uh everything just seems to be going pretty swimmingly our money really isn't doing too good so maybe we should probably focus on getting like a big ticket animal kind of soon uh currently at the moment we don't really have anything that really screams cool but we can get one going soon enough so let's just keep on going through the list i'll actually put this on very fast forward so we can actually get some more progress going and i'll tell you what we can actually start getting some pathing going. So I do want the ground curbs, curbs on ground path. There we go. Just because it is a lot more clean like that. I don't know. I just prefer these guys a lot more than not. And we can actually shrink the path down a little bit. I just want like, you know, a nice little area to get up here through. I'm not really sure what can fit right in here, but I'm already kind of picturing, and I bet you guys can kind of see my mind go right here. I'm kind of picturing something right in this area right here. It's kind of perfect. It's a lot of big open ground, so I feel like that will be amazing. And I don't know. What did we use over here? We used those little bit of log paths, so let's actually repeat that again. And we can do just a little bit of an area over here. Just a little bit of a nice raised viewing platform. I don't know. Just something that is nice. And you know what? We need nice things in our zoo because, you know, if our zoo isn't nice, then it's mean. And we don't want a mean zoo, guys. We want... Alright, how do you guys even stand me talking like this? This is awful. But yeah, I just do want to add some stairs over here. I'm not really sure as to why the stairs aren't being placed. But I don't know, maybe we can actually continue this going down there a little bit. I don't like how wide that path is, actually. So we will actually start that over. You guys can tell I'm doing great so far. It's been such a long time since I've actually, like, built in Total Modded Island that I kind of forgot how the game actually functions. 
So yeah, we're just gonna do like a big circling path like that. Actually, we don't even need stairs. Let's just make that all smooth. Make that a nice little smooth transition. I don't like how it looks. I'm sorry guys, we gotta change it. So yeah, let's actually have that be nice and smooth all around. Just really focus on taking our time. I'm rushing guys. I'm not rushing, but I'm rushing. And you know what, that's nothing that you should be doing in this kind of game. Because you know, it's just a nice little relaxing game. And that's the best part about playing at Zoo, you know? It's like, really nice. So, hmm. I'm trying to think. There's a seal of Isis, but I'm not really sure if I want to go into that just yet. But we do have the options for like a lot of different animals. And you know, we gotta figure out what we want pretty soon. Because I'm sure you guys are already hating this. But, hmm. Alright. We have some interesting ones going on right in here. We do have the Taken. I'll tell you what, we'll do a Taken habitat. Uh, I really do love the Taken. Uh, Nick made it. It was originally made by him. And it's just such a beautiful creature. I kind of want to have like multiple viewing areas. So we can have one down here a little bit. And that should be good enough. And we can cover up the rest with something else. And of course we can have this raised area over here. Just so guests can have like a little bit of a different perspective. I will be keeping this area closed off though. I don't want the people over here taking free shots into the exhibit. And of course over here I need to have a little bit of staff access so we can just line that up right there. I'll replace it with some better fences soon. And yeah, I just feel like a rock wall might be pretty good over there. I don't know, I just, I'm vibing with that. So yeah, let's tuck our little gate in right there. And what color did we make these staff paths? I know we had a little bit of a centralized theme. Let's go blue because it seems like it's blue. And then we can just tuck that in right there. All right, awesome. So these are the temperate rocks. So we're gonna make that the entire theme throughout here. And we're just gonna place the big boys down throughout, just kind of get that basic shape going. Uh, this is usually how I do my rock work. I like to do like the big basic shapes first and I like to make my way into smaller territory. So let's look up the temperate tag and then we can turn that off. Also, I have the Safari beta pack so we can do a lot of awesome stuff with that. I have a lot of like modded, a lot of modded content actually recently has been released in terms of scenery. So we're gonna actually have a lot of fun with that going forward. I'm so excited to show you guys like what got added. I know you guys pretty much, if you already watched this, you probably already watched the um, mod showcase, but still, you know, there may be the overlap in here where like someone doesn't really watch that. Maybe it's not really someone's style, which I totally get. It's a little bit rushed. It's a little bit, not even rushed. It's a little too fast. Meanwhile, this, it's a lot more slower. We're taking our time, we're rotating our pieces. And you know what, we're just, you know, we're making a nice little habitat. And over here, we're just really enjoying making this little rock wall. And you know, we can incorporate some more like Asian architecture in here as well. I'm not really sure what I want to do for his little holding area, but we can figure it out when we actually get there. And Takins are really beautiful. So these guys are the Shezhuan Takins or Shishuan. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but these are found in like the Asian Highlands, as you guys might already know. Like I trust you guys, you guys are like a bunch of animal experts, you guys know more than me. Why am I even telling you guys this? But yeah, these guys are found in the Asian Highlands, and we actually do have some at Roger Williams, they're some of my favorite animals over there. And they're just such beautiful creatures, they're more so related to goats than they are to cows, which I find really, really cool, because they're just such like iconic looking animals if you're like familiar in like the animal world i don't know i just really do like them and you know what we're gonna make this a little bit sunken in because i don't want them kind of like climb out by the way they're some of the only more recently escaped animals from roger williams they actually were able to escape at one point i'm sure nick talked about it in his little talk and exhibit video but you know i'm just reiterating it all for you guys but yeah they have escaped in the past but you know we're just going to make sure that doesn't happen in Total Modded Island. And yeah, I do want to get like this going on over here. Uh, for areas like this, I just use big rocks because it looks a lot cleaner. And for areas like that where you're probably going to cover it up with mulch or something, it will look a lot better in the end. And I do want to add some like smaller pebbles, kind of like stuff in the middle over here. Just so that the talking can like, you know, have a little bit of variety in their habitat. 
And I actually will add some more stuff over here because I want this covered. I want this to not be able to be seen. I want this to be a nice blanket area over there. And I do apologize if my audio isn't up to crisp. Um, oh no, I just, I swear I checked it just like right before the video, but the audio levels are a little weird. But hey, we're not going to focus on all that technical shiz, you know? We're going to focus on a little talking. So I do want to just finish up this rock work really quickly. I feel like right there. This may be one of our final rocks that we do. I say that and then we're going to do like a lot more. I swear that's going to be how it goes. And this entire episode is just going to be rock work, rock work, rock work. But no, I feel like it's coming out very, very nicely. And of course we can spruce this area up a little bit more once we actually start to use that area. But for the purpose of this video, I just want to start working on the habitat. So I want to have a little bit of variety in where the talkings can go. I just want them to be able to utilize most of their habitat as possible. All right, awesome. We're back. <laughs> all right, sorry about that, guys. So, all right, where did we leave off? So we need to finish up the rock work over here, and we need to start putting our tokens in here. We should probably do that right away, honestly. Let's bring them in here. So we have Lee Ku, who is a beautiful female token. And hopefully we can get her a nice old boyfriend soon enough and we can get some of those cute little talking babies. But yeah, I just want to get this like habitat looking nice and spruced up for her. So I definitely do want to incorporate like, you know, a little bit more rock in here just because they do tend to like that. Um, and I definitely do need to like double back and see what they actually require and probably playing the game might work. But yeah, I really do like how this is starting to shape up. I have no clue why the fences are already deteriorating, but that is awesome. That's great. We're doing awesome. But yeah, here she is. And she is absolutely beautiful. Look at her go. I love her coloration. And they're just so beautiful. Uh, this is a little happy accident that happens with them. So sometimes the color variation kind of messes up and they come out gray. But it just looks so nice like that. She looks sleek. Like, I don't know, it's just a happy little accident that really was never meant to happen. But, I don't know, I'm just a big fan of it. So yeah, let's kind of get their habitat going a little bit better over here. And as you guys might know, this map is based in Asia, so I don't know, I kind of like having all these Asian animals included. I just feel like it really adds to like the vibe and like the storytelling of it. I don't know, it's just always like those little things in the... I don't know, when you're making zoos and stuff that really add up, and it just makes it like such a better experience. I don't know, I'm just really liking it so far. And yeah, I just think that looks pretty, pretty good. So you know what? We need some plants, and of course we got to do this too however they like. So of course they do need a little bit more grass, and we'll get that plopped down for them right there. And dang, they actually like a lot of grass, which is surprising because they are based off of the llama and I didn't really change much about them besides that but now there we go it seems like they are chilling right now we're just gonna darken that up just a smidgen and you know what that looks pretty pretty good and we'll actually get a little bit more grass going over here so they can not complain because we don't want them to complain we want them to be happy so we can get this little area being a lot more grassy over here and we can do a little bit more long grass over here. And there we go. Everything is just all hunky-dory. All right, so let's get them some plants. And we have these three variants to choose from. We have the taiga, temperate, and grassland for them. So yeah, let's start filling it up a little bit. I do want to get some like strips going through over here. Just like as a way to kind of narrow off the habitat, I'd say. Kind of like frame it a little bit better. And from like over here, it kind of like, I don't know, it kind of guides your eye to go down there a little bit more. And we can do a little bit more of that over here as well. And of course we can't do too much or else we'll get a little bit pissed, but I feel like if we do a little bit more than we're supposed to, no one will know. No one will know the difference. Um, okay, so we do need some more bushes. I want to do some like big stuff over here. So maybe we could do like a nice big bush over there. We can do a nice size hawthorn over here. And what else can we put down here? Fountain bamboo. I love using fountain bamboo like for just general bush work. Like it's a non-discriminate bush. It looks kind of good. 
Uh, yeah, that looks pretty, pretty nice. And we can actually do a little bit more over here. And I don't know about you guys, but I really like the birch trees. I feel like we need a couple of these in here as well. And we can just tuck one more in over there. Don't tell anyone, but they're not really fully covered, but it's okay. Because they're our little talking friends, and they don't really care. So, I do want a little bit more rock work, just to kind of break it up a little bit. Since we can't really fill it up with plants, I feel like rocks are going to be the way to go. So doing this over here kind of just makes it a lot better. I don't know, I just really like seeing this all come together. And of course they won't really be able to access up here that much, so we can just decorate that a little bit. Alright, and I'll tell you what, we actually do have a few extra things over here, so if we go into Exhibit, uh, Nick has these wonderful, wonderful branches over here that he like straight up ripped from the exhibit boxes. And they work really damn well over here, so I'm just going to place a couple of these guys down, just kind of scatter them throughout the habitat. Uh, just give it a little bit more of, like, character, I would say. I don't know, it just makes it feel a lot more lived in. And yeah, we can tuck one right here, right against the... right against the... frick. Yeah, right against the rock. There we go, awesome. Alright, and we can actually bring that rock down a little bit more, because right now it is floating. And we're not Poison Blade. We don't build floating zoos like a madman. If you do check out, like, you know, way back in the day, I actually did start a floating zoo series, but it never really took off. Hey, get it? Because flying. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we're not doing that over here. We're just keeping things a little bit grounded. And yeah, just adding a little bit more rock work over here. Ooh, that looks mighty fine. I don't know, I'm just really digging this. This is so fun. Like, I apologize for being gone for so long, but I feel like it was just the break that I needed to kind of come back and be refreshed. So, if we look up Africa Pack... Um, nope, it's Safari. Yeah, if we look up the Safari Pack, we have all these wonderful items. We even have, like, some elephant sculptures and whatnot. But I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I guess I kind of want to have, like a little bit of a shelter over here now so i'm not sure what we can do uh we can definitely look up can uh organic organic actually no let's let's go for a blueprint let's sponsor someone today so if we look up shelter we can try and find okay cloth elephant shelter that actually works out pretty well and um, we can kind of sink that into the ground a little bit so who made this who has the pleasure of being featured today? This one was by, if Steam ever loads, of course, it wants to take forever when I want it to load. So this one was by, you're kidding me, Just Goron. Oh my god, Just Goron gets like a little sponsor in the video, that's awesome. So yeah, Goron, thank you so much for that, buddy. If you guys don't know Goron, he's doing like easily one of the coolest recreations in Planet Zoo right now. Um, it's the Bixi Bargain. Uh, otherwise it was like the Beaksbergen by me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just this beautiful zoo and it's so amazing like the level of detail that goes into that work that he does. So if you guys have never seen it, definitely do check that out. But I think that's turning out pretty good. So let's actually look up Mama over here and we need to put in some like little stuff for him to use. Or her rather. This one's a pretty little girl. So we are going to give him a little bit of water over here. And yeah, I just feel like tucking that in the corner over there is probably our best bet. And yeah, he needs a little bit of enrichment. So honestly, getting another tree in there, that's perfect. Um, I'm not really sure as to how good that looks when it flattens the ground, but we can certainly work with that. Uh, that's honestly pretty good. So we can kind of develop the rock work over here to kind of accept that. You know, if we do something and something doesn't really like it, we make it work, you know? Because if that is for the token, we need to make sure the token gets what he needs. And over here, I'll actually play so we can have a little bit of, you know, stuff going on. We can get a ball over there. I do like changing the colors of these balls, I'll admit. They're so fun. So we can do like a nice green one over there. We can do a grab ball. I don't know. What's a nice color? I like purple. So we can do one of those right there. And yeah, we can do a little bit of herb scent enrichment so we can have the talking come up there. And what else can we do? I don't want to like overpopulate it, but I feel like you kind of have to in this game. 
so we could do like a little bit of a heater enrichment over there. Still pink. Uh, and yeah, that is looking pretty good. So we can actually start to put the finishing touches on this. Uh, I definitely do need these. So we do need to make money off these guys. So I'm going to put a few donation bins up here. And I'm going to put a couple down here as well. So now they should be able to access the token exhibit and we can get some more like seating over there. And I'll tell you what, we can finish up like the theming in this area and then we can wrap it up. And you know what, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this kind of style of video. I know I haven't really been doing, um, right, so we're using Arrowwood. So I know I haven't really been doing any live videos recently and you know, I apologize on that and I really do miss them. So I'm going to try and get back into them for you guys. They're just really fun to make honestly, <laughs> but they take like a lot of time and I really haven't had time recently. So that kind of explains why I haven't been active recently. Yeah. How do you guys enjoy me saying recently? Is it really nice? Yeah, I haven't heard me say it recently, so I'm going to say it again. But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. It's just like all about you guys. I'm happy that you guys are having a good time with like all the content recently. I'm happy you guys are having a good time with all the mods recently. Uh, I sure as heck am loving them. Even though I really haven't had the chance to use much of them. It still is really fun to make them, see what you guys build with them. That's like one of my favorite things too. I love seeing you guys like post videos and like pictures of the mods that you guys use. It's really awesome to see like the love that you guys have for these things that I make. I don't know. It's just really, really cool. And like not even mods that I make, it's mods that my friends make, mods that, you know, Nick makes. It's just all that stuff. It's really amazing. But yeah, we're just going to wait for people to start to come over here. The Taken doesn't really have too many visitors. That's kind of surprising. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. Why aren't they like coming over here? Yeah, no one is coming over here. That's a little weird. Where is our little talking girl? Hello? Oh, there she is. Yeah, why are you... Alright. Is it land? Does she not have enough space? Oh, she does not have enough space. But that's like the perfect size habitat. So, you know what? Maybe I should be able to like change that soon. Um, I do want to see if there is another talking in the marketplace right now. We can definitely check that out. Uh, this is a part of the video where everyone is free to call me out for having all these unreleased mods. Uh, here's the thing, uh, be me, try to be me, because if you're me, you get to have all these cool unreleased mods. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. But yeah, so I think no one is really going to come over here. Uh, I'm just happy with the exhibit nonetheless, so we definitely do need to get people over here just because we need people to start to use this area a lot more. So maybe we can put like a little bit of a big ticket animal over there. Uh, maybe like maybe over here, maybe, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> you guys enjoy me like repeating every single word that I say, say, isn't that great? All right, uh, enough stalling leaf. We got to end the video right here. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate all of you guys stopping by. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to drop a like, maybe and drop a comment if you can. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys stopping by nonetheless. Just having you guys here is amazing to have. And yeah, here come the protesters. So we're already doing great. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.